up? All right, so uh, one game is done. We've got eight other games to talk about. And I have to say, going from watching this game, which has playoff implications and there's there's something at, at, at play, and then going to Minnesota-Chicago's first period, it it's just, it doesn't hit the same. It's one of those things where I have, when I, with all the hockey I watch, uh, the, the matchups between teams that aren't in the chase can be, can be tougher to watch. But this one was not, and Buffalo and Detroit came to play today. It was Lucan versus Lion, which is an odd thing to say, like they're going to show up not to play. Um, didn't bring my skates today, coach. Don't feel like playing. All right, so early jump for the Sabres. However, on a turnover rush, Lucas Raymond scores at 53 seconds. It's a wrister from the slot, and it gets the crowd really into it. Uh, the Sabres look to respond, but Sprong has a rush chance that's held, and then at 424... Uh, Kane buries one short side on a net drive. Jeff Petrie with the assist. And that was the fifth shot for the Wings. The Sabres had one. The Sabres were having trouble with turnovers and puck control early in that period. Otherwise, we might be having a whole different conversation right now. Uh, so the Wings press a bit as the Sabres keep turning it over. Thompson with a near miss as the Sabres get some pressure. Paterka has a shot that deflects wide. Krebs is denied. The Wings get pinned down for a while, but they end up going to the power play and they score on it. Uh, it is Larkin uh, scoring on the power play from Raymond and Perron at 7.37. It was a good cycle by Detroit. It's buried, and it looks like this one's home and cooled. This is done, right? It's 3-0 already. They got three goals on six shots. So that's it. Buffalo, pack your bags. But Buffalo doesn't pack their bags. Uh, there's more strong forechecking by Detroit the next turn. Uh, the fans call when the referee doesn't. Uh, then we have Bowen Byram versus Joe Valeno right after. So... Uh, Byram had thrown a hit on Valeno that the crowd didn't like. Valeno hit his head on the boards on the way down. And Valeno got up clearly not liking it either. And so the, the players police this and the fight takes place. Uh, the wings press at the half. UPL holding on there. There's a delay game call. Gives the Sabres a power play. There's an early clear. Uh, the Sabres set up. They cycle. Paterka has a shot that's held. The wings clear late. They do kill it off. But even though the Sabres are starting to turn it over a bit again, they end up drawing a power play. And they score on this one. It's Tage Thompson with a one-timer, one five hole from the left circle. Benson and Tuck with the assists at 13-16. It's 3-1, to one, and it looks like this might end up being a really high-scoring game. Uh, Sabres press with five minutes left. We had a fight between Cousins and Petrie. Uh, Kopp misses one wide as the wings press. Larkin has a sharp, sharp angle shot that's blocked. The Sabres press with a minute and a half left. But it's 3-1 to one Detroit after one. Second period, good early back and forth. Uh, Raymond fires one wide on a rush. Paterka has a shot that deflects wide. The shots on net are 2-0 Buffalo at three and a half minutes. And Buffalo controlled large swaths of this game in the last 40 minutes. Uh, Skinner has a chance it's held. Krebs to, Skinner's, Krebs to Skinner. Um, had my squirrely Dan moment there. But near miss, and then the next chance for Skinner was blocked. Uh, Jeff Skinner was kind of beside himself a little bit at points because... Just so many near misses for him today. So many chances that almost go. Wings press at four and a half minutes, but they're kept to the outside. Paterka has a net feed that's blocked. Sabres press. More blocking by the wings. And we'll get into the blocking at the end of this. Uh, Darlene is denied. The wings clear. Sabres aren't giving the wings a path to the net in the second period. Shots are six to one for Buffalo. Nine and a half minutes into the second. Uh, Thompson's denied on a fast break. Sprong is then robbed on a rush that follows that. Zarnik fires one wide on a three-on-two rush. So this is the part part of the second period where there's a lot going on. Uh, Sherrod has a shot that's held as the wings press. Debrinket has a slot shot that's blocked. Uh, the wings press afterwards. Skinner has a one-timer that's held. Bryson took a stick from Jost right up near the eye. Uh, he exits for repairs. He did not return to the game. I hope he's all right. Um, again, it's just one of those fluke things where it's your own teammate. Jost would obviously not have meant to do so. Uh, so hopefully he's okay. With 146 left, there's a power play for Detroit. There's an early clear. The wings cycle. Uh, UPL holds onto a puck with Larkin on the doorstep. Uh, and the Sabres clear to end the second period. Uh, so for the Sabres, they don't allow one, but they also don't score one. So we're going to the third period with the score still. 3-1 to one in favor of Detroit. So to start the third, the Sabres finish the kill. Krebs has a net drive that's held. The Sabres, uh, honestly the better team after that 3 nothing goal. At, ever since that 3 nothing goal by Detroit, it has felt like the Sabres are pushing their way in. They just they can't solve Alex Lyon at this point outside of the one by Thompson. 
Uh, so Valeno has a shot that's blocked. Petrie has a point shot that's held. Darlene then has a wrister that's held. And again, I, I think Lyon deserves a lot of credit. Uh, his numbers have been kind of ugly the last couple of months. Maybe this is a sign he's snapping out of it. Uh, Krebs to Skinner gets picked off. The wings rush. Tuck has a net feed that's picked off. Uh, Clifton to Cousins is blocked. Good thing, because Cousins was going to put that into what was kind of an open net at that point. Uh, momentum's with Buffalo, but again, they're not getting a goal. Bryson, this is where they, re where they announced Bryson wouldn't return from the high stick he got from Jost. Um, Thompson has a shot that's held. The wings now are the ones that are turning the puck over. Thompson can't bury one in close. The wings clear briefly. Had a hard time keeping the puck out of their zone. Uh, shots were 9-3 to three Buffalo at the half. Uh, Larkin has a rush that's defended. The fans wanted a call there. They did not get one. So what I laughed about was that there were go wings go chants going at the exact same time as ref you suck. So the chants were in sync with each other. You could clearly hear both. And you're thinking, all right, so Detroit fans, make up your mind. It's either go wings, go, or tell the ref he sucks. Uh, Skinner misses wide from the slot. Kane has a fast break chance that's held. Uh, Owen Power, scary incident. Uh, he takes a puck to the face, completely not expecting the puck. Uh, it looked like it hit him flush, and he was, he was bleeding pretty good. Hopefully Power's okay. He exited for repairs, uh, did not return. And so now you're down to four defensemen if you are the Buffalo Sabres at that stage of the game. Uh, then there's a shoulder save on a chance for Tuck. Sabres are winning faceoffs as long as Larkin's not on the ice. Uh, it just it just felt like every time they needed a faceoff win, they got it. And I'm surprised Larkin wasn't out in some of those situations. Uh, but at any rate, uh, the Sabres are controlling the game. The Wings have a two-on-one that's broken up. The goalie pull happens with 310 left. Uh, then Christian Fisher starts icing the puck every 10 seconds what it looked like to me i think there were three in a row that were fisher just missing the net and yeah just just icing the puck but it, it's honestly it's a smart way to go about it so with icing the puck um there's obviously that little break before the, the the drop of the puck again and if you ice it over and over and over again you are you're getting some of your win back right so it it makes some sense to do it that way it doesn't make for exciting hockey but it's totally understandable why players are doing that uh, Tuck's denied. Things get punchy with 102 left. Greenway and Sherratt were both done for the day. They got a bunch of minutes. I think they both got 14 minutes and penalties. Um, and just Greenway had had enough of Sherratt and vice versa. So that's dealt with. Darlene has a one-timer that's held. Uh, the Wings resume icing the puck, and it kind of works out for them. They win this one 3-1, to one, meaning it definitely worked out for them. They go to 38-31-8. and eight. With that result, Detroit is back into a wild-card spot. It pushes Pittsburgh back down. Uh, the Sabres 37, 36, and 5 with the loss. Can we admit Buffalo's not going to make the playoffs? Can we admit that today and just, just be done with that? Push that off to the side. The shots on net are 10 apiece in the first, 11 7 Buffalo in the second, 18 to 7 Buffalo in the third. They definitely gave it a lot of fight. Your final shots are 39 24 for the Sabres. Uh, the power plays, both teams go 1 for 2. The hits were 29 27 Detroit. Block shots, not even close. 27 to 9 for Detroit. So lots of shot blocking by the Wings today. Uh, Lucan in 21 saves on 24 shots. Lions saved 38 out of 39. Best stat line I think Lions put up since maybe before the All-Star game. At any rate, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.